Welcome back to Advent of BIM 2025. Today is day 17 and we're going to talk about macros. Special thanks go out to my YouTube channel members, of course, to my YouTube super chatters and super thank thankers, and to my GitHub sponsors. And just to let you know, this will be a little experiment here. I'm going to try to do this in one take here and don't have any editing after this. So at least not no cutting and yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. So let's open, open up Vim here, open up the, the only file that's in here. We have a markdown file and we're going to start with this gift wrap list. We're going to use this to demonstrate how basic macros work. So let's go down to the teddy bear item here. And our to do here is we should add gift colon space to each line and also wrap the contents of the line inside of brackets. So let's, let's do that. So to record a macro, you use the Q key, and then you use another key, another alpha, alpha key, like a, so just one letter, and that's basically macro a, and you see down here recording at a started. So I recorded this macro in, in register a, actually, we're going to see that later. And what we're going to do here is we press capital I. So we should make sure that this action we want to do, we want to do this for other lines as well. So for consecutive lines. And so the motions we should use here should, should enable us to do this sequentially here. So, but, but let, let me just do this and <laughs> don't talk too much about it. So we're going to add gift here space and then i'm just going to start the opening bracket then i'm going to hit escape capital a to go to insert mode at the end of the line and at the square bracket the closing square bracket escape again and now the thing is we want to be, an a be able to spam this macro so go one line down and then we press q again to stop recording the macro so now we recorded this macro what we could do now is actually replay the macro and we're going to use the add sign for that and then the name of the macro. So add a, and you see this worked beautifully. So the line actually got handled the same way as before. And what we can also do is we can give this whole thing a count. So, oh no, first of all, I wanted to show you how to actually repeat the last macro. You can hit add add again, and then you replay the last macro again. So let's, so replaying or activating a macro also does take account. So we can see we have 11 more lines and the line here as well that we, that we are on. So we have 12 lines now that we want to apply this macro to. So hit 12 and then add A. And the complete list here got handled by this macro and is in the format we want to. But now let's say we want to undo this. And we, we, we are thinking, okay, this was a great macro, but actually wanted to have present and not gift as the contents of this macro. Let's just, um, I told you before, macros are actually just in um, reg registers, recorded in registers here, the keystroke strokes are registered A, because we, we used A as the name for the macro. We have the capital I and then the gifts. So actually key presses I really, really did here. And there are some escape sequences as well. So let's say we wanted to change that. Since these are just registers, we can use the um, quotation marks here and then the name of the register and just paste this to this line. And let's go to the start of the line here again and change this word to present because we wanted to have present in front of that instead of the gift thing. And now let's paste this or yank this into register A. So we're going to use the quotation marks again and A and then just 
double Y to yank the whole line. Let's check the registers again. You can see in register A, here there's the I present thing and the rest of the line is, is the same as before. So now if we can, if we want to use this, um, let's just first delete the line here because we didn't want to have that here and add, add the line back. But now we can run the macro A again and you see this works with the, oh, I, I actually just, uh, because I yanked the whole line, I messed up and uh, copied the, the um, end of the line. So the carriage return character basically inside this register. So this is not <laughs> the way we want to do that. So we could edit this again, but I won't do that now because the video would be derailed a little bit. So you can, you, you get the idea. I shouldn't have copied the whole line or oh, I'll just let, let's just edit it again. So let's just, um, paste the line here again and, um, 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 um yank this again into register a, but let's, let's first visually select this. So visually select this, go to the end of the line, but not with the end carriage return here. Now, um, quotation marks and A again, and then yank this, and this should work this time. So let's undo the inserting here and try again to hit at A, and this time it worked. So I could spam it again, or I could give it a count again. So let's do the next three lines here, A, and yeah, this, this works quite nicely. So let's uh, jump down a little bit and we have another practice here, practice session we're going to do. Let's say uh, we, we also already saw that we should prepare our macros so that it is repeatable line by line. So just one more example here. Let's say we wanted to change the toys word in each line to items. And we could go about this in different ways in different motions you can imagine. So let's say we record in, in register Q. That's actually my most used register for macros because I can just QQ. I QQ so much. <laughs> I don't know. Do people say QQ anymore? Back in the days when we were gaming, QQ was something like, like cry crying, right? The, crying smiley here. Okay. But I digress. Uh, we can go, <laughs> of course we could go forward with like the word motion, for example, so we hit toys here and change this into items, escape, hit down arrow or J, you know, I've got this, this keyboard and I have my navigation layer. So I'm using the arrow keys quite much and then just stop recording the macro. And you might think, oh, we didn't even get to the start of the line. So I messed up the macro anyways. Um, so let's, let's just undo this and do this again. Um, and again, record into macro Q. And this time we're going to press zero to start at the beginning of the line and then go forward a few words, change the word to items. Escape, go uh, line down, press Q to end the macro. Now I could use add Q again, but you see, because we have fewer words be before the toys item here, we just jumped to the items or to the elves and we turned elves into items and that's not what we wanted to do. All right. So in this case, we could have written the macro a little bit different. So let's, let's record it again, like QQ, go to the first or the, to the start of the line, then we could basically find the colon, for example, and then go two words to the right. This would work on every line. So change the word to items, go a line down and uh, switch the macro off or stop the recording. Hit add Q again, and this time this works. So just a reminder to choose the right motions for your macro and Sometimes it takes a while to 
to find the right the right emotions uh, you have to think about it a little bit but the more you do it the more practice you get with it and yeah one one more thing i wanted to show you was um we can also add instructions to the um, to a macro that's already there um the example here is actually quite bad so let, let's undo the things we did we have still have the same macro in here that works and let's say we wanted to add like a new line after each of those um macros here after each of those lines after we applied the change from toys to items here and have some some i don't know dashes or something so we could edit the macro the way we did before but we could also add something to the macro so to add something to the end of the macro you actually press q and then i recorded it to q right <laughs> and you press the big so the capital letter for the macro name so capital q and now i'm gonna add everything i do here i'm gonna add to the macro and this time I didn't actually um, do it very wisely because now I'm in the middle of the line here. <laughs> but let's just say I'm gonna go one line up and I'm gonna mess up this here. No, not one line up. Let's just go one line down and just insert this and insert three dashes, right? And then it answered to go go to the next line. So I messed up this line here, but this should work in the macro if, if I have it correctly in my head any uh, again or still. Yeah, so let's stop recording. We're going to hit Q. This can also be a non-capital Q. Not, sorry, this has to be non-capital Q because uh, it's not a macro name, because but the macro recording shortcut, but I'm still in insert mode here, so that didn't work. But this should hopefully still work. Probably I messed it up. So undo this. And if we now hit um, add Q, yeah, I, I messed it up. <laughs> okay, but you get the idea. You can, you see, we, we did extra stuff at the end of the macro. I just, I just messed it up. I should have been prepared a little bit better, <laughs> probably, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what it is today. And this was the experiment of a one take without much preparation. So hopefully this wasn't too bad. And if you like the stuff I do here or like the video, like the video, then yeah, like and like. Hype the video also, subscribe to the channel, join my channel with one of the membership options or use the GitHub sponsors or Kofi. To support me otherwise but that leaves me <laughs> to say thank you again i uh, hope hope you'll be here tomorrow again i will be here see you around and take care and let's see how this experiment resonates with you but i'm i'm gonna wait for the for the hate comments that i'm just a noob <laughs> a real noob i just outed myself here so yeah Anyway, thanks.